Hey guys, today's number 41 of our daily videos that we have been creating. And today we're not doing, today <laughs> I am headed to the, the post office. I'm going to be dropping off a bunch of my calendar orders that I received. Thank you very much. So you guys will be receiving them soon. And then um, after that, I'm going to check my mailbox, my PO box. So hopefully I got something right now. And then uh, when we leave here, we're going to do some bass fishing. I think we're going to have a little bass fishing challenge, Brian and I. We got stuff. <laughs> we got quite a bit of stuff, actually. Awesome. We got a box. All right, we got mail time. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, I'm back home. I'm super excited and can't wait to open up my mail time, which I'll do on camera a little later. But first, we are going to do our bass challenge. It's getting dark um, and the sun, you know, goes down earlier these days. So we need to get to fishing. And our challenge is whoever catches the biggest fish wins. Oh, and I forgot to mention that whoever wins this bass challenge the rules is whoever wins whether it's brian or i in our next video we have to refer to me or him as the best fisherman in the world so whoever catches that biggest bass will be the best fisherman in the world for a full day it's going to be me but i'm using the gambler easy swimmer darcy's using a livingston top water hopper that she used the other day did great with but well, she hasn't got anything yet, and I'm just starting. All right, I'm not having very much luck with this top water that's been killing it. I've been using it for a couple days now when I received it from Livingston Lures, and uh, it's got that orange, oops, it's got that orange belly on it and the largemouth and the peacock bass love it. But right now, I'm not sure what's going on. It's just been a really overcast day. Not a lot of sun today. So I'm wondering, maybe they don't even want this dark color because I'm not having any luck on it. And I'm seeing fish everywhere on the banks. So I'm gonna switch it up and show you what I picked. Brian just had a fish on, but he lost it. Um, but I haven't got a hit yet. Let me show you what I picked. I picked another Livingston lure. This one is so pretty, right? Like, I, I don't know if you guys are like this, but I'm like this and I really love, sorry about the plane, but I really love like sparkly pretty colors of like lures and like, even though I know it's gonna catch fish, I almost don't wanna use it cause it's so pretty. <laughs> I wanna keep it like nice looking. I don't know, I'm weird like that. I'm probably the only girl like that, but whatever, it's gonna catch a fish right now. All right, so far, I've gotten one bite on my gambler. Darcy's gotten no bites, so that means I'm winning so far. No. <laughs> yes, I'm winning, and Listen, we're going into. Nobody believes a one bite madness. I don't if even believe it. No one catches a fish, one bite wins. I don't even believe he got a bite. So if you don't see it, we don't believe it. So listen, it's sudden death. Next person to catch right. a fish wins, All right, period. All late, sudden death. Yes, and if nobody catches a fish tonight, then we get out the we'll do a rematch. The, we'll be back in the morning. Yeah. All right. Rematch time. Sudden death. Sudden death over time is sponsored by Land Truck Lager. Thank you. Oh yeah, fish on, just like that. Woo! I saw him chasing it too. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Yeah, that was awesome. I threw it up on the bank on the other side, my Livingston lure, and actually, when I last talked to you guys, I was using the pink and white one, but I switched it back to the colorful one. Now he's tied up in weeds. Hopefully I still have him. Uh, but yeah, I casted it over there and started to work the bait out, and I actually saw the fish come out of the weight, and I saw like his wake, and he came right behind my lure, and I got a peacock. All right. Oh, it's nice. That's a nice one. Get, get, the, get the net, get the net, get the net. 
You gotta land your own fish. I'll get it, I'll Just get it. Just reach it for me, I'll land it. <laughs> oh my god, he's huge. I don't think that's the monster one I've been looking for. Oh my god, he's huge. Oh, oh my god. Let me do it, let me do it. Oh my god, he's huge. Stop, come here. Oh my god. <laughs> get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get his head in here, woman. Yeah, the line. The line is like preventing it. Yeah. That's the size of the fish I've been seeing in the backyard. I don't think he's the biggest one, but this has got to be a four pounder. This is my PR, personal best bass, artificial topwater in my backyard. What? Official winner. We do have a little bit of light left if you still want to try to be a winner, but I don't think you will be. <laughs> All right, hang on guys. Did you hear that? <laughs> but I think she's right. Darcy's the unofficial, the official winner. She's the best fisherman in the world. Yes. Tomorrow for tomorrow. For tomorrow. All right, got that out. Oh, he's so nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's a big peacock. That's a big oh. peacock for the backyard. We gotta weigh him. We gotta weigh him. All right, he got this thing embedded good. Wow, check him out. That's a huge fish. Hold on, I don't want to get embedded. Let me get hooks out. I got this on Amazon for like nine bucks. I'll give you the link in the description just so if you don't have one, but it goes up to 100 pounds, I believe. And uh, it, even, it even has a ruler and a tape measure on it. But I'm gonna weigh him really quick here. I'm guessing he's close to four. He's gotta be four. Whoa, chill out, baby. Chill out. What's that say? 4.0. Four! Four pounder, baby! Look at this fish, man! There you go. That's a nice fish! So I've been stocking these fish, and there's like a school of like four, five or six of these big ones, these big boys in the backyard, and I've seen them every morning, and they corral baits and everything else, and I just hooked up on one of them. I'm pretty confident this is one of the big schools of peacocks that I check out every day, and there's a bigger one. This is a gorgeous fish. And I don't have to go anywhere for them either. It's pretty awesome. I'm so lucky to have peacock bass in my backyard. Gorgeous. All right, four pound fish right here. This is my biggest fish in the backyard, like I said. I think this is a male, but you can see his hump is not that full yet, and I don't think he's actually mating right now, but I believe he is a male. I'm um, sorry, I got a bug. But I believe he is a male, and he's a nice fish. I mean, for a canal system like this. I mean, they're usually in the big lakes and stuff. So awesome fish. Gonna go ahead and release him. And he was on that top water, that top water Livingston lure that I love. Freaking awesome. I'm just gonna dunk him head first. Here he goes. Nice! All right, I think I officially won this challenge. I am the best fisherman in the world all day tomorrow. Sorry, Brian. Now it's meal time. I officially won the challenge, so I'm gonna be called the best fisherman in the world all day tomorrow. I'm super happy about that, haha. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go ahead and start meal time with our first envelope. And we got a few envelopes in our mail time, so thank you very much. I'm super happy to actually have mail this time when I went to check. So the first one is from Leslie Harbin. All right, so Leslie said in a little letter here, she said, keep up the good work, Dar Sizzle and Brian from South Carolina. And it was actually election day when she wrote this. And she went, I wanted to make sure you had something in your mailbox. I wanted to make sure you had some mail in your P.O. box. Thank you very much, Leslie. I appreciate it. Mail is better than no mail, so thank you very much <laughs> for um, sending me a cute little message. I appreciate it. I can't even read. Put your glasses on. All Brian's right, old man can put his glasses on. <laughs> How's this? All right, next one is from uh, Clarence. Yeah, put on his glasses on. <laughs> to read, he can't read. On the back it says Rent Grumpy Old Men. An ice fishing movie. I've seen. I've seen the. I, I've seen the video. Uh, I don't think Darcy's ever heard of it. No. <laughs> I haven't seen that. And we've got a little article in here. We're gonna take it. We're gonna read. Oh, ice fishing. ice fishing expo coming up. We'll see if uh, Darcy gets invited to that or if she can make it. I'm yeah. saying, look, it's around here since we have no ice. Yeah. Thank you very much for this message. 
And we really appreciate it. We'll take a yeah. look at this uh, event and see what's going on. Thank you. All right, next one is from Bella C Cuneal, I believe. Sorry if I pronounced your last name wrong. And she is from Michigan. And let me open this up. And on the back, it's got a little pumpkin sticker. And it says, if you can read this on YouTube, please. Yes, I'm going to read this. <laughs> All right. So she wants me to sign a little, um, what is this, a uh, note card? Index card. Index card. Please sign and send back. I will definitely do that, Bella. Thank you. <laughs> And I've got a little note here, and she says, Dear Darcizzle Offshore, my name is Bella, and I'm nine years old, and I'm your biggest fan. I watch your videos every day. The biggest fish I ever caught was a huge largemouth bass and a baby crappie, and I love fishing. <laughs> Don't say crappie. Yeah, I said crappie. 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 <laughs> and I love fishing. I'm very happy you guys made it out of the Hurricane Matthew. That's love cool. your friend, Bella C. P.S. Happy Halloween and keep on catching. Good fishing. <laughs> Thank you, Bella. That was really cute. I really appreciate your little note card and your little message. And you keep fishing too. You just keep at it. And um, one day, maybe you'll be a big YouTube star too. So keep at it. Good work. Thank you, Bella. And now we have a, we have three here from the Temple family from Donald Donaldsonville, Georgia. And it looks like maybe uh, from Allie, Tiffany, and Kaylee. And I got. Allie's first. We got pictures. Whoa. Look at that. A lot of coloring. <laughs> my name is Allie. I'm a kid in the garden. My school is online. It is fun. I love to read. I love your show. Thank you very much. I like watching you catch big fish. I'm going to ask Gra Grandma for one of your bracelets. Ask Santa. Santa. Not Grandma Santa. Santa. <laughs> You can ask Santa for one of my bracelets. For Christmas. Maybe Santa will give Maybe. you one. <laughs> Maybe. I'll make sure Santa gets you one. You did a great job making them. We look forward to your next show. Well, it's going to be tomorrow. <laughs> you don't want to wait. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Allie. And we got another pretty drawing. I'm sure this is her sister. And she said, hi, my name is Kaylee. I am in virtual school and in second grade. I have classes every day with my teachers online. My teachers make class fun. I like reading hard books and learning new things. I enjoy watching your show before bedtime with my family. We learn a lot from your show and I love your bracelets. Maybe Santa will get you one. Look forward to your next show. Don't worry, Temple Girls. I think Santa's gonna give you a bracelet. Don't worry. <laughs> and this one is from Tiffany Temples. And it says, thank you all for your shows. We watch every day. I love the fish. I don't have time for it. She's very busy at school, I'm sure. And But she does love to cook, and she gave us a fishing recipe. Maybe we'll do an episode Whoa. with this fishing recipe. What thank do you think? Thank you. That's and, cool. And she also wants to remind me that, by the way, Southern people, they don't measure the ingredients. They just put up whatever they think is best in there, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did, too, in the video. So I, that, I understand. So thank you very much, Tiffany. I think we're going to try and put this, we'll try and get you a recipe to work and maybe in one of the episodes. Yes. Well, that sounds great. Thank you girls, appreciate it. <laughs> All right, that's it for the letters. Uh, just remind you guys, if you want to send us anything, letters, um, suggestions, comments, whatever, there's a P.O. Box, P.O. Box 3065. It's in the description on every video. And Darcy's opening up a box from Stephen Sharif. Hope I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. It is, I'll take my old man glasses off now. <laughs> that is, uh, one of our great viewers I know, Stephen, we, he comments yes. all the time. Uh, and so all that information, again, in, in the description below. And let's see what we got. I, I think it's, it's lures. It's Whoa, lures. Oh, we got lures. Woohoo. Lunker Hunt, Poppin' Frogs. Poppin' Frogs. That sounds pretty good. Sure. Yeah, pretty sure. Those are going to catch bass. Thank you. Maybe snakeheads, too. Just catch snakeheads. Oh, oh, well, that guy's just big oh, fish. Look at, oh, look I'm at showing. Look at him. They caught this big fish, apparently. That's a big fish. <laughs> and I've got a nice little letter here. And I'll just read a couple sentences of it. But, hi, Darcy. Hi, Brian. Your YouTube channel is very habit for me. I really look forward to all your new posts. It's fun and inspiring to watch you living the life the way you do. Thank you, Stefan. And um, he said, so I was out on a local lake a couple weeks ago and decided to try frogging for largemouth bass for the first time. I used these Lunker Hunt Supernatural Frogs and the fish were just crushing them. 
I thought it might be I thought it might come in useful for you guys in your backyard canal or whatever that is and whenever you're out targeting peacocks and largemouth bass. These frogs are really effective. Thank you very much. And he also gave me methods on how to fish them. I am going to fish them and I'm going to catch a big fish on them and I'm going to win another challenge. No, I <laughs> I'm going to use these I need to help win a challenge nope. against the best fishermen nope. in the world. So anyway, we're going to test these in the bass fishing lure testing facility, which is also our backyard. Yep. <laughs> That's what I've dubbed it. And yep. we also have a little fishing thing on Thursday, I think, which we don't have all the details yet, but this will be good for that too. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Okay, mail time is over. Thank you very much, everybody, once again for the mail. I really do appreciate it. And it felt great opening up all those awesome gifts from you guys. Um, and I just want to mention really quick that I do have my calendars. My 2017 saltwater and freshwater edition calendars. You can check those out on my website. Everything will be in the description below, so check that out. And I'm also, if you already don't know about this, but I'm selling anchor and hook bracelets. I've got a whole assortment of different color paracord bracelets here, and I'm wearing them on my hands right here. I've got an anchor one and a hook one, and you can check that out in the description below on my website, and uh, everything will be there for you to check out. So this is the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'll be back again tomorrow with another adventure, and maybe we'll do some bass fishing. But until my next adventure, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, and follow your dream, and keep on catching.